Let's talk about cybersecurity. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about cybersecurity and some of the various jobs that are associated with the cybersecurity profession in IT. All right, so let's get into it. All right, cybersecurity. So, cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. An intentional exploitation of computer systems, networks, and technology dependent enterprises. These attacks use malicious code to modify computer code, data, or logic, culminating into destructive consequences that can compromise your data and promulgate cyber crimes such as information and identity theft. Cyber attacks are usually aimed at accessing, changing, or destroying sensitive information, extorting money from users, or interrupting normal business processes. So that is what cybersecurity is in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about some of the various types of cybersecurity attacks. You have phishing attacks where you have things such as spear phishing, whale phishing, malware attacks such as malware, drive-by attacks, or ransomware, I meant to say, drive-by attacks, Trojan horses. You have web attacks such as SQL injection or SQL injection, cross-site scripting. You'll also have things such as distributed denial of service, DDoS attacks, password attacks, eavesdropping attacks, birthday attacks, brute force and dictionary network attacks, insider threats, man-in-the-middle attacks, and AI-powered attacks. Now, in future videos, I will go into deeper discussion about all of these attacks. Right now, I'm just giving you highlights of various attacks just for this video. All right, so let's talk about some of the various types of cybersecurity jobs that exist out there. So you have quite a few of them. So we have the first one is a, it's called a security specialist. This is the go to person responsible for the overall safety of an organization's data. They keep up to date with security improvements and updates. They monitor security administrations. They protect the system against damage, changes or illegal access. They ensure accurate security tools are running properly, including antivirus software and firewalls. They implement training to colleagues and they develop system specialized security requirements. So that is some of the basic duties of a security specialist in cybersecurity. Next, we have what is called an incident responder. The incident responder seeks to protect and improve organizational security by preventing, averting, and mitigating security threats. Some of their duties include system monitoring, assessment, testing, analysis designed to identify and correct potential security breaches. And they also create security plans, policies, protocols, and training. So that is what an incident responder does. Next, we have a security administrator. They oversee issues related to IT security and safety. They make sure their organization's computer systems remain protected from all types of cyber threats. They develop policies and systems to protect their companies and customers' sensitive data. They may implement regulations to govern how, govern how information travels between employees and outside the office. They work in teams to identify network weak points. They install firewalls, site blocking programs, and anti-malware software. And they handle responses to unwanted intrusions. That is what a security administrator does in a nutshell. Next, we have a vulnerability assessor. They test for vulnerabilities by creating and testing custom scripts and applications. On a preset basis, they oversee and run security audits and scans. They recognize any vital defects and systems that could allow access to cyber invaders. They eliminate laborious tasks and finding vulnerabilities by using preset tools like Nessus. They compose and describe a vulnerability assessment. They use creative and hands-on strategies to produce false vulnerabilities and discrepancies. They implement a vulnerability assessment database 
For metric reasons, they keep up with any system vulnerabilities over a period of time and they lead intrusion and training for system administrators. So that is what a vulnerability assessor pretty much does. Next, we have a cryptographer. Cryptographers guarantee financial data is protected and only available to authorized account holders. They create security systems that guard against any exposures. They ensure that all critical information is protected from being edited, copied, or deleted. They analyze data to solve any security issues using mathematical or statistical codes. They test systems for any vulnerabilities and ensure they are accurate and reliable. They aid in solving security issues for government or businesses, and they keep up to date with current research and strategies for coding and applications. Those are some of the basic duties of a cryptographer. Next, we have a security manager. Security managers may oversee teams of security analysts and other technology personnel. They often focus on managerial managerial responsibilities. They deal with high level IT security issues. They supervise employees who implement and configure security measures. They hire new employees. They prepare and oversee budgets. They evaluate and order new security tools and technologies. They develop policies, regulations, and strategies to enhance the security of their organization's computer networks and systems. Next, we have a security architect. They assess organizations, technology and computer systems, identify strengths and weaknesses, conduct penetration tests, risk analysis and ethical hacks on local area networks, wide area networks and virtual private networks. They assess routers, firewalls and comparable systems to determine efficacy and efficiency. They plan and implement architectural changes to boost security structures. They blend knowledge of security, hardware and software, organizational needs and cybersecurity risks with organizational policies and industry standards. They build and maintain security systems and networks. They prepare budgets and they also oversee expenses. Also, they allocate personnel resources as needed. They provide guidance to IT security team members. They lead IT analysts, security administrators, and security engineers to coordinate effective security protocols. They do respond to breaches. They assess causes, damages, and data recovery to incidents. And they implement appropriate changes, updates, and upgrades in response to vulnerabilities and incursions. So that is what security architects do. Next, we have a chief information security officer, also known as a CISO. They are tasked with protecting organizations, proprietary data and intellectual property. They manage companies overall security. They identify weaknesses within existing information security technologies and programs. They develop security policies and information protection practices. They introduce new technologies, oversee education programs, and provide leadership and guidance to personnel. They prepare budgets and financial forecasts for security operations and maintenance. They allocate financial resources. They coordinate investigative and data recovery efforts. They carry out risk assessments and audits, and they ensure compliance and applicable or ensure compliance with applicable regulations and laws. Also, they hire IT security personnel to build teams to carry out organization strategic plans, and they create reports and relay technical information to lay individuals and computer savvy colleagues alike. So that is what a chief information security officer does in a nutshell. Next, we have a security analyst. They monitor computer systems and networks for security violations. They investigate security breaches and prepare reports about any damage or continued threats. They carry out penetration testing to prevent cybersecurity incidents. They install and upgrade computer security software to protect data integrity. They train users to employ security products and procedures. They work with executives, managers, and employees to identify and articulate the most efficient and effective data protection practices. That is a security analyst. Next, we have a security auditor. 
They create and execute audits based on organizational policies and governmental regulations. They develop tests of IT systems to identify risks and inadequacies. They evaluate firewalls, encryption protocols, and related security measures. They develop plans to improve security compliance, reduce risk, and manage potential security threats. They are often hired to check effectiveness and ensure systems adhere to industry standards. So that is a security auditor. Next, we have a security director. They manage security personnel and systems that keep company data safe. They improve organizational security through implementing and maintaining IT related security measures. They supervise incident response and investigation. They, um, can, they put together policies and they also make protocols. Uh, they do security improvement and strategy strategizing. They do budgeting, forecasting, and they allocate resources. They set goals and they do some hiring and firing of personnel in case that needs to go down as well. So that is a security director's role for the most part. Next, we have a forensic expert. They dismantle and reconstruct information and security systems. They retrace cybercrime evidence back to the initial breach and identify which security weaknesses allowed it. They organize cybercrime into clear, detailed reports accessible to executives, law enforcement, lawyers, and judges. They explain reports, answer questions, and sometimes serve as expert witnesses in court. And they advise executives on system improvements. And they also train employees on cybersecurity matters. That is a forensic expert, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we have what is called a penetration tester. They improve information security by detecting and correcting system weaknesses before criminal hackers can exploit the weaknesses. They often work in teams to create new tests simulating cyber crimes. They identify application vulnerabilities. They access physical security systems, servers, and network devices. They suggest specific security strategies and solutions aligned with company budgets. That is a penetration tester. Next, we have what is called a security consultant. They analyze potential cybersecurity threats by running tests on systems and searching for potential breaches. They must understand how hackers operate to protect against them. They ensure organizations exceed minimum requirements for regulatory compliance. They propose improvements to infrastructure. They oversee implementation of new security measures and help maintain them. And they may also train staff to understand and protect themselves against information security risks. So that is what a security consultant does in a nutshell. Next, we have what is called a security engineer. They keep sensitive data safe from cyber attacks. They protect organizational finances and reputations. They detect, investigate, and prevent intrusions. They resolve technical problems with IT equipment and software. They implement intrusion detection systems and install firewalls. They conduct tests, security assessments, and risk analysis. They report their findings, evaluate new security measures, and make IT security recommendations. That is a security engineer. Next, we have what is called a security code auditor. They identify bugs, weaknesses, and syntax errors in individual lines of code. They identify violations limiting or preventing code efficacy. They may perform penetration tests. They review authorization protocols. They access or they assess authentication mechanisms. They search for problems within code that expose private information or allow unauthorized access. They identify issues and potential problems with code unrelated to security. They prepare reports of their findings and they may carry out audits as part of a criminal or civil investigation. That is a security code auditor. And finally, we have what is called a security software developer. They create safe, efficient software programs and applications. They adjust existing applications and programs by introducing new security measures. They protect technological data and systems in business, government, and nonprofit settings. 
They assess users' needs before designing software. They integrate programming techniques, design concepts, and knowledge of software exploitation in designs and tests. They create new tools and systems to detect and prevent vulnerabilities and weaknesses. They document application and programming functions, making changes, performing upgrades, and conducting maintenance when necessary. And they coordinate integration of software components. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I just gave you an explanation of exactly what cybersecurity is. And I also went over some examples of various cybersecurity attacks. And then I finally described about 17 types of cybersecurity jobs in cybersecurity. Now, in future videos, I will go into more detail about each of these jobs so that you can have a very clear understanding of what the education, the certification, the, the experience uh, may be required in order for you to enter that role. Also, in conjunction with the type of pay you can expect to have with that role. So that is coming in future videos, ladies and gentlemen. But other than that, if you guys want more information about this subject or other subjects related to IT or entry level IT in general, please visit my website technologyg.com for more information so you can get read up on the latest and greatest. And with that, I will holler at you guys on the next video. So peace.